Next big item, well, you see a bit of a wraparound on mid. Matsuku struts in, and Smash goes in, but can't quite find the OP. Now they're going to commit a split here, and they bring Arteezy back in, they drop him low, but Matsuku might be the one who goes down first. It's a double rotation from EG. Both the supports join the lane. Arteezy stands strong for the time being and makes his way to the north. Witch Doctor thrown up in the air by the Cyclone. They can't finish off Arteezy, a long range boulder, but it's too late. Can he get the clap follow? -up? Oh, Arteezy, he walked back in, he pays for it with his life. But that was that was close. If Fear was like a couple hundred units farther out, in fact, uh -oh. as I say that, he walked in the century, now caught by the X-Torn, does have time lapse, can he get it off? No chance! And he will fall, Mihawk, able to survive through that one, drops pretty low in the process, and it was a big commitment, but they got the kill on a, a fairly a greedy Weaver build, and it's exactly what they need. Now they look for Johnny Walker, they'll swap him back in, and Ewell finds the range for that ultimate. They'll run him down, doesn't have a TP scroll, he'll just pop a Death Ward and try and stand his ground, miss Co running in, but the mech will keep him alive, and... Two heroes falling. Meanwhile, mid, there's a split. Arteezy might go Dyer's down as well. Another boulder toss. The attack. kill is there. NOT just cleaning EG up Radiant's across the map. Tower. Looking for attack. more. We'll cycle on the out, but with his split, uh, with his ultimate form still active. Not going to be the easiest kill. In fact, Smash sticks around. He wants to go for this one. Masuku not going to connect on the Torrid, and now he's overextended, perhaps. PPD looking Dyer's for the stun. He'll get it off. Fierce here. Goes for the Roche deny. Dyer's not even going to be able to get to the Roche. Attack. Just chain stunned into submission. Unfortunately, attack. with Death Prophet dead, they can't turn this into a Roche kill. Let alone twice, and that was just a, a poor hesitation that cost them dearly. Maybe a courier snipe down a bottom lane. Fear is he going to get stunned out? He doesn't. The Geminate is not enough to finish it off. So it like panic little... smoke, but it's not going to save the courier. Fortunately, the courier does make it over the tree line and lives. While well, Misco and Smash combine mid, but bring down the Witch Doctor. And... Uh, did not expend a primal split for that, so a nice kill for them. And Fear going for an invis. Uh, Who's going to get a first? Universe will. Doesn't have Ravage, but can go into Smash. They're going to force out a split now. Nice. But the Centaur arrives, focusing on Fear. Can they finish off this Aegis in time? They can't. They Cyclone him in the air. Universe oh, wow. drops low, will fall. He can't so time lapse the full. Kills the Tornado. Uh oh. Now he's thrown up in the air, and when he comes back down, they can chain stun him. Centaur stop ready. Is the timing there? It is. The old man dies twice. Back to the, gr back to the well for Fear, and. It's just the Weaver who can't really join the fights for now, whereas you look at the other Midas carrier in this game, Ewo, I mean, this this guy can really get aggressive, especially with the other initiators. He, they can't be focusing Viper when they've got to worry about the Primal Split and the Centaur stomp. Mid lane, Primal Split with Dyer's you, Arteezy might get caught out, drops low, attack. now a Torrent, X Dyer's available, but he will cycle on himself, trying to dodge that Torrent, unfortunately, still caught, right back in another boulder cross, they get the kill, meanwhile, bottom lane, looking for Ewo, the Death Ward comes through, he gets off the mech, the swap's there, and is it enough to keep him alive low? Is, uh, finally available, and he'll purchase Radiant's it now, middle tower but while he's waiting attack. for the Lincolns to arrive, Masuko is strutting up. Looking for an opening with an X Torrent. He's really far Dyer's in. Wow. And he'll find the time to start the front off. Now Smash comes in. If he splits in time, the boat following the universe gets no Ravage off. And now they swap in Johnny Walker. Well, Trauf is trapped. Trauf is in trouble. And Trauf will fall here, even through the hill. One more crit from the double damage panda. Does the trick. The Brewmaster delivers. So much from the fact that Smash is almost level 16. Oh, RTZ. Not like this, oh. not like this, not again. Mihawk jumps in, the stun to start, the torrent to follow, and the troops come marching in. Once again, he dies. Smash now on pursuit, and he's thinking about a split, but for now, he's just gonna throw out the level four Drunken Haze. Plenty of lockdown for Johnny Walker. Trout will be next, caught out and brought down. With the amount of initiation NOT have, it's really hard mm -hmm. not to get Absolutely. caught. Absolutely, and so Fear's the one that's lived through Whoa. two of these uh, unfortunate exchanges, but he attack. doesn't really have like a desolate or even phase boost to push out the towers, so losing out on each exchange. Now the initiation on a PPD, even with the heal, I don't think he gets out. Can they get the stun? Yes, they will. It's, they have too much initiation. Like if they just get a, a Ravage silence off, He's got Assault, Caress, Evasion, and X. Mm -hmm. He is very tanky. So, you know, let's think about it, Gus. This is going to prompt a Stampede, and if they don't go in right now, which they have, with the split on the top side of the fight, working on PPD as well as Trout, they're going to isolate yeah. and bring down the Witch Doctor. The supports attack. have fallen, and here just can't seem to get into the fight. They'll force Ewo out of this one. Does he make it out just oh, wow. in, in the nick of time? But Radiant's it may cost them a Suku here. The Centaur's fallen, and... Well, the Kunkka's on the run. Universe in hot pursuit. They'll bring him down. The boat was thrown. But in the end, uh, they're pushing forward. Though they do see the AC aura on them. Are fortified. They don't actually have a split yet, but Mihawk will go in anyway. Focusing on Arteezy. Doesn't have the ultimate available. Dropping low, and Fear will finish him off. Now looking for a bit more as Arteezy falls. Fear begins to trade with Ewo, but Ewo is just too tanky Radiant's to trade with. So in the end, uh -oh. we'll have a one for one. And uh, they try to arrive from the backside and go for more. Fear's a bit surrounded here. Any detection for him? I'm feeling like we need a 4-5 hero boat for them, and 
And it's also got to come at a timely fashion, right when they're starting to take a lot of damage. Maybe to negate something that the Death Lord provides. Oh. They will go in on Fierce. They get off the stop. The chain stuns there and he will fall. He buys back instantly. And he time lapses in. The split's just been deployed. PPD going deep, but the boat comes and it's not a great one once again. The Alk will fall. Uh, they did force out a Weaver buyback. So this is not a bad trade for them at least. Going on Fear again. Is there going to be enough crit damage from the Fire Panda to finish him off? He doesn't have a time lapse available since he used it during the fight. But now Universe arrives. Ravage will fly. And the Death Lord to follow. Straight on to Smash. Silence trying to TP out. Can he get out in time? They lose the Weaver again. It's a dieback from Fear. But it seems they'll hold the line anyway. Mihawk on the way out. Arteezy still here with an exorcism at the ready. Just shredding Mihawk a new one. He'll die. And now Misko falls as well. If they want to pop an exorcism for this, they'll definitely kill it off in time. They might even do it anyway. But with a few bashes on Arteezy or Fear, Roshan might not be enough. Exorcism comes out. They want to finish this one off quickly, and it just melts with that exorcism. Are they still going to go in? Iwo wants to. He's getting shredded by Arteezy. We'll throw the Viper Strike, and nice now the X, the Torrent Vote will come through. But Arteezy dodges it with a nice Yule Scepter. Now split number one is activated, and they go straight onto the Death Prophet. Fire Pan out of commission. Arteezy at half health. Still has the Aegis available. They'll lose the Wind Pan as well, and it's only the Earth Panda. It might not even survive long what? enough for round two. Trapped in the pit. Will Boulder toss Arteezy, still taking damage. The Torrent's there. He can clap. He'll do it. He can split a second time if he gets off the Refresher. Ravage comes through, smash four step out of the pit, but now he's in an awkward predicament in the middle of nowhere. Can Blink back in? He was silenced for a time. It will end, and now they look for Mihawk. Brought low, finished off by one last right click. Where's that secondary primal split? Are we gonna see it get smashed? Well, he hasn't refreshed yet. He's still biding his time, Blaze. He's gonna do it soon, though, I imagine. There's your refresher. There's your split. Right as the Death Prophet Ultimate ends, it goes straight on Arteezy, focusing him with all three pandas. Cycloning the Witch Doctor, looking for the backside heroes, but now he's alone. They've lost the Viper. The Kanka's being routed, and it seems the double split just won't be enough here. EG waiting for the split to end and looking to make it four heroes dead for NOT. Oh, it gets the blink. Any second nice. now. Well, he tries to blink out, and he will. So he does to escape, but... We're getting to the ultra late game Death Prophet, uh, Death Prophet Weaver destruction stage where they just minus spam the oh. minus armor go on you and nice six again with the Yule Scepter by Arteezy right as they attempt to jump it on but the boat crashes through and he will go down once. Can they kill him a second time? Oh, did the Aegis just end? It just ended. It was oh literally six seconds when they started with that swap and his Yules actually I think delayed it enough so that he it was broken when he fell and that, that is like, huge. I swear I saw the Aegis like a quarter of a second before he died but now they come back. They're gonna buy back to the Death Prophet. Here's uh -huh. Ravage oh. arise from Universe just shreds NOT into one. There's no splits available and he even refreshed for this. He's got to get one off before he goes down. He can't do it. It's a 1400 gold bounty. The death of the Brewmaster and probably more. You're on the retreat out will be a Venge as well as a Viper. They'll lose the Venge here for sure. Does go step to live. He will get some long range medical assistance. That is a real sacrificial medic. They have to go up against one Death Prophet and two Weavers. Maybe three if you count time lapse. It's just too much. Meanwhile, top lane. They're trying to keep the tide out of the fight while they go in on the TPD. They will finish off the out. Blade now top by the out. And they have to look for Rax on this one. Arteezy doesn't have his ultimate. They're trying to fight around the exorcism timing and take the advantage that way. But Fear will quickly deal with the Fire Panda and now they sound the retreat. Unfortunately, they've lost Ewo. Now they'll try and go in on him. Ravage is not available for 60 seconds. Both teams lacking their full complement of spells, but with despite that, it's the Weaver who looks to make his mark. Focusing on Ewo. Now they look for the stun. Can they finish Fear off? He will be KB out of this one, running directly through enemy lines. Johnny Walker Chop just can't get off a long duration ultimate. Quickly dealt with. But lives for the time being. He's really fading them out. Now the exorcism pulls down, and Arteezy comes back in, starts to clean up. They lost the Brewmaster the second time. Misko's on the way out, and Fear still survives through it all. Cycloning up the bench. They won't have a brew for the defense. We'll see what they can do. Um, he comes smash. He's gonna play. He doesn't have a split. Remember, he's just here for a bit of stalling tactics, and Ewo runs in, trying to focus on the Witch Doctor, but can't finish him off. Now the Maledict deployed finally will get the kill, but it comes at the cost of completely ignoring Fear. Who, with a BKB, he doesn't care about this blade now, though. Right as I say that, it ends. The Tide Hunter just gets splatted on the backside of the fight. Fear dropping low to a torrent. Can they finish the job? He time lapses. Jukes out of this one. But the reinforcements just keep on rushing in for Mihawk and the rest of NOT. So overwhelmed Fear. He'll be forced to cheese now as well. And he will survive this one. Arteezy finished off, and Fear just has to beat a retreat. That's actually almost the entire EG squad dead. There's a buyback at the ready. If 
Arteezy has to use it. The tier fours are going to take at least like half damage, if not drop. They got to be careful about that. And they will go in now. They will look for fear. Remember, fear, no buyback. 20 gold card, he barely time ups his own at the buzzer. He makes his escape, but they keep on chasing after him. The cast comes bouncing through. It's a wonderful cast directly between Smash and Misko. Just the bounce they needed. This puts Ewo on his own in the front of the fight. And with that, Finalk's done follows us up. But he'll make himself to safety. Double splits at the ready, but Double Ravage is there to answer. And it all comes down to initiation. Who's going to get it off? PPD caught out by a swap into the fight, and the Witch Doctor will come. Canceled quickly by Cyclone. Good awareness there to cancel that one out. Now Universe, quick Double Ravage, but is the follow-up at the ready? Fear joins the fight. They've lost three. They're going to lose Ewo from this one as well. Just can't make his way out in time. And Ewo will turn. He'll try to run. He's dead too. There's one more to go. It's only Smash. It's Smash against the entire EG squad. Four heroes pursuing him out, Radiant's and it looks like he'll be forced to refresh. He can go for another split if he likes. So use the refresher Ooh. just to reset the Ghost Scepter, Radiant's and then he'll make his way to the north fallen. foot. Well, meanwhile, Arteezy at the Radiant Phase, uh, crushing through the Tier 4s with his ultimate. He'll bring both down. The second split was used here, and now Radiant's the Boulder Toss Arteezy. He's fallen. caught out of the Radiant Phase. Remember, he's got buyback for this, so even if he dies once, he will have a second crack at it, but no ultimate for now. Trying to finish Mihawk, the Ghost will turn around at the final moments and won't complete the kill. Now the Brewmaster split continues to do its work on him. Needs a Boulder Toss. Juki no. gets off the Hex, turns on Smash, wants to finish the job. No more escape for you, the Shiva does it, and finally, 57 minutes in, EG seal the fate of NOT, but they really had to work for this one, Blaze. They'll take it 36 to 34, and they do stay undefeated in Star Ladder America, but make no mistake, this was not an easy win. No. Smash Against the World sounds like a good title for this game here. He did so many amazing things in the fights. Every single ability you can expect from him. Uh, that last play there where he cancels the split, goes for the blink during Ghost Scepter, and then is able to get a TP away from Fear, enabling him to try to contest Arteezy there. He just is thinking in a global sense, and you can tell this guy just has so much skill behind him. But